and today we'll talk about uh, cooking for travel. I've been talking about various travel uh, experiences that I've had and this particular day I was going to Ngong, Ngong Hills and it was very exciting, I was going to celebrate my birthday. Then I thought, why don't I prepare some meals so that some people can have uh, some quick snacks, actually family, and I thought it was a good opportunity for me to share. Don't forget to subscribe. People, please subscribe. I'm seeing a lot of people watching my videos and I'm receiving a lot of likes, but uh, low subscriptions. Please subscribe, my people. Subscribe, uh, like my videos, and click the notification bell. So let's watch how I prepared uh, some few snacks for Ngong Hills and uh, be ready. The next clip will be about Ngong Hills and how we experienced Ngong Hills. Thank you. So today I want to talk about food and food that you can carry when you're going on a trip, maybe hiking, maybe you're going on a, uh, for a camp. And uh, I just quickly prepared something and uh, I was going for a quick trip somewhere. And as I was doing that, I decided to do some meatballs. And you can see the meatballs there. I'm frying them. I am, My camera might not be very stable because I am stirring at the same time. It's like rubbing your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. So the, the secret of uh, these meatballs, if you want them to cook inside and to cook nicely and not prematurely, is just to make sure that you, you fry them with very low heat. You fry them slowly. Uh, just a quick uh, check on the burgers. Uh, I prepared also burgers and you can see them there. Our meatballs continue heating, I mean, they continue to cook and uh, every minute you keep stirring so that they don't uh, stick to the pan though i'm using a non-stick pan it is best because uh, it allows you to 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 cook uh, the the meat without it sticking to the pan and you can see how low the heat is actually i've put the lowest heat and just this is just to ensure that uh, the meat cooks uh, all the way inside so that you don't open up the meat and uh, there's some blood coming out and you know as africans we love uh, meat that is very well done abroad i know there is a uh, rare but most people like uh, well done so that is the idea of why i am frying them on low heat the burgers had already been prepared i had also cooked the meat uh, for the burger on low heat and you can see i have slit the bread uh, the, 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 the buns have been slit and I applied some margarine and yeah, there you see it. I also remembered to prepare some french fries or chips. We had split, uh, we had uh, cut the potatoes and we've fried them and we continue to fry them. Mm, I'm tasting some, it's very nice. And also some kachumbari which is an African meal. Chumbari is when you slice tomatoes and uh, or tomatoes and onions and you put some salt and some lemon you squeeze in some lemon just to ensure that uh, they are in a way it's like a sanitizer for your for to avoid uh, germs or you can even put in some vinegar so that one is what we use to prepare as the vegetables of the day don't forget to subscribe as usual i just wanted to show you one of the things we can do as we travel and quick snacks and i'll continue doing the same as we prepare that is uh, food for travel don't forget to subscribe below please like uh, the video comment thank you